Saint Isidore was born in 1070 and was a Spanish day laborer known for his piety toward the poor and animals. Isidore was a farmer who had deep religious instincts. He worked tirelessly as a laborer in the fields and spoke with God as he worked. So, since many of the United States' original settlers were farmers, Saint Isidore the Farmer is the patron saint of the rural life Americans. Saint Isidore the Farmer's real name was Isidro de Merlo y Quintana. He was born in the year 1070 AD in Madrid to a very poor family. They were not able to provide education for their son, but they raised him with a firm faith and strong devotion to prayer. Isidore worked as a day laborer from a very young age. Working on the farm of the wealthy, John de Vergas at Torre Laguna, just outside Madrid. He was very generous and would share with the poor what he had, including his food. He was diligent and meticulous in the way he carried out his farming practices. Because of his gentleness and compassion, domestic animals were often endeared to him. Isidore married Maria Toribia, who is also known as Saint Mary de la Cabeza in Spain. Soon, they had a child whom they loved very much. At one time, their young son fell into a deep well. Both Isidore and his wife began to pray and miraculously, the water from the well started rising. When the water level reached the surface, the parents pulled their boy out of the well. But a few years later, the child died unexpectedly. Maria and Isidore decided not to try to have any other children because they thought God was calling them to a different kind of life. They spent their time caring for those in need and praising God. Maria also became a saint. Several other miracles revealed his deep faith in God and his concern for those who were much poorer than he and Maria. People came to know that Isidore was indeed a very pious man. It was not uncommon to find a train of beggars following Isidore home, hoping to receive something to eat. One day, a story says, after feeding many poor in their home, a beggar arrived late and asked for food. Maria knew that the pot was empty but Isidore told her to give him what was left. When she opened the pot, she found it full of food. Hello, friends. A quick message for all the new viewers to this channel. We are a team of artists working on spreading the Word of God to our young ones. We are your tour guides through the world of faith-based entertainment. We make videos on the life of saints, the apparitions of our Blessed Virgin, stories from the Bible, and many, many more. We rely on your support to keep making more such content. So, if you like what we're doing, then could you consider donating to support our mission? You can donate as low as $5 through the link given in the description box. Thank you from the bottom of our beautifully and wonderfully made hearts for your support. He also demonstrated love for all God's non-human creatures. One winter day, on his way to have a sack of grain ground, he noticed some birds sitting on a barren branch, obviously unable to find anything to eat. Isidore spread the grain onto the ground 
and the birds happily flocked to it. A good deed that earned Isidore ridicule from his co-worker. When the two arrived at the mill, not only was Isidore's sack full of grain, but when it was ground, his grain produced a double amount of flour. Every morning before going to work, Isidore was accustomed to hearing mass at one of the churches in Madrid. At one time, Isidore was accused by his fellow workers that he was always late for work while attending the daily morning mass at a church nearby in Madrid. But Isidore stated that he had no other choice but to follow the ultimate master. When the master came out to the fields the next day to learn the truth, he found that Isidore was indeed absent. But he didn't find his plow idle. Angels had taken up the task to ensure the work got done. In another incident, his master and other workers saw angels plowing on both of his sides. Saint Isidore is said to have brought back to life his master's deceased daughter. He died after a peaceful life of hard labor and charity. He was later canonized in 1622. Isidore stands out from these other Spanish saints. Saint Isidore is kind of an everyman saint. The story of St. Isidore is a reminder of the dignity of work, to work with the poor, and that ordinary life can lead to holiness. His life shows us that if we have our spiritual self in order, our earthly commitments will fall in order as well. In representations, St. Isidore is portrayed as a peasant with a sickle or staff and sometimes with an angel or white oxen near him. Relics of St. Isidore the farmer rest in the reliquary chapel in the basilica, and he is the patron of farmers and of the United States National Catholic Rural Life Conference. Grant, O Lord, that through the intercession of the blessed Isidore, the husbandman, we may follow his example of patience and humility, and so walk faithfully in his footsteps, that in the evening of life we may be able to present to you an abundant harvest of merit and good works, who lives and reigns in a world without end. Amen.